Okay, next we're going to head into the menu view file and add any specific styling to this view component. So open this up. And then just below the template, we'll add the style and add the scoped attribute. So if you've not used the scoped attribute before, this means that all of the styles will only apply to this component, i.e. the template which we created above. Okay, so to see these in action, we'll jump in to the menu section. Make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so at the top, we've got a level three heading, which is this one just here. Let's grab this and set the text align to be in the center. This also applies to our basket and both this top section and this bottom section will soon be applied to the left and right on the larger view. But first, we'll start with the mobile layout, which is the small screen. So let's jump below our H3. We'll say the mobile layout. To switch between our two layouts, we're going to make use of the flex box. So if we go to the very top, you can see that this div has the class of menu wrapper. And this will be the one which is responsible for controlling the direction of our menu and also our basket. So these two divs are the child elements of menu wrapper. So if we go down and we select this, we can make use of the flex box. So menu wrapper, the display will be the flex. You can see the default flex direction when using the flex box is in a row. So these will be placed alongside each other on the page. This is the layout which you want on the wider view. But for the smaller view, we need to override this to be the flex direction of column. Also, the color, the font color will be an RGB value of 80, 96, and 112. Next, we have the two sections which were inside, which we just looked at, which is the menu section up at the top, and then the basket section. Each one of these has their own corresponding class. So we have dot menu and also dot basket. We'll set the background for each one of these sections to be a hex color. And the one I'm going to go for is FAF 1E2. The border radius for each one of these sections, small value of three pixels. The height, just in case we don't have a lot of content, we'll make sure that each one of these sections is a minimum of 100% of the viewport height. And then some padding on the inside of this element to give this some space in it from the edge of the screen. Okay, so this is the direction which we have for the mobile view. And if we stretch this to be a little bit wider, we want to flip this around to make the flex direction to be a row. And we can do this inside of a media query. We want the screen to be a minimum width of 900 pixels for these to take effect. And then what we'll do is we'll grab the menu wrapper section, copy this, Paste this inside. So we've already set the display type to be flex, so we can remove this. We've already set the color, we can remove this. So all we need to do here is to set the flex direction to be in a row. We'll add some space between with justify content. And then we need to decide how much space each one of these sections is going to take up. So the pizza section will probably need a little bit more space. So we can make use of the flex direction to give this more space than the basket. So for the larger view, let's grab the menu section, set the flex value to be two. And then for our basket, we'll set the flex value to be one. So this means that this will try to take up twice the available space as the basket section. And you can see this is reflected inside the browser. Okay, so we can tell the difference between these two sections. We'll add a border to the right of this menu to add a vertical line down the center. So inside the menu, set the border on the right of one pixel, a solid line in the RGB color of 202 for each value. There we go. Okay, so almost done now for this section, but what I'm going to do for these two buttons here is to remove the border, make them a little bit smaller. So if we go up to the section, 
we see each one of these buttons has the class of quantity underscore button. We can do this in the general section, now just above the media query, quantity underscore btn, remove the border, and let's set the padding to be a value of 0 0.4 rems. This now reduces the padding down for both of these quantity buttons. Next we'll continue with the theme of styling and we'll add some styling to our header section.